The beer we're going to make today is an American Pale Ale. This is a great beer for all grain brewing. It's got great malty and hoppy flavours through it. And we can create this really well with all grain brewing. You can brew another beer, just make sure the grain in the recipe you've got is less than 11 pounds or 5 kilograms, otherwise your brew day is going to be hard to manage. We're using two grains today. The bulk of it is Palar malt. This is barley that's been germinated, then dried out and then roasted slowly to bring out some malt flavours. This is our base malt. We're also using some Munich malt. And this is Pale malt that's been um, roasted further to bring out some more malty flavours and a really lovely amber colour. It's not a bad idea to have a pound of dry malt extract in the cupboard as well. Just in case you don't hit your pre boiled gravity, you can add it into the brew pot. I use three hop additions, the bittering, the flavouring and aroma hops. Together they give me a bitterness level of 29 IBUs. We're using Amarillo as the bitterness hop. This is my favourite hop. It's got a really clean bitterness profile. We're using Cascade for the aroma and flavouring additions. This will give us a really good citrus profile. The hops you use might be more or less bitter than these. So there's information in the ebook that comes with this course on how to adjust your recipe. We're using a dried yeast and we're using a Safal USO5. This is a clean ale yeast and it's perfect for an APA. Dried yeast are going to work better in a low oxygen wort. If your water tastes good and you can drink it, then you can make beer with it as well. The simple approach is just to brew with the water you've got and not worry about mineral additions. If you do want to play around with water, this beer likes a soft water with calcium. So you can use bottled water or you can filter your own. Then you can add a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of calcium sulphate. This is going to help the starches convert to sugar in the mash. It's also going to help bring out the, uh, the hot profile in the beer. I'm also using Irish moss to help drop the proteins out during the boil. This recipe is on the lower end of the scale for starting gravity or original gravity and hop bitterness. I get a pre-boil volume of 1050. After boiling, this increases to 1058 as the wort becomes more concentrated. I dilute it in the fermenter to get four and a half gallons or 17 litres of beer. My original gravity is 1044. This all translates to a 50% extraction rate from the grains. This means that I've got out half of the available sugars from the grain. As you build or buy more equipment, your efficiency is going to go up and your brew day is going to be easier. You can add less water to get a stronger beer. You can dilute the wort less, or if at all. The higher end of the scale for an American Pale Ale is 1060. So if your beer is above this, it'd be a good idea to dilute it down.